the maximum time to respond. How many times do they escalate from person to person? And if I happen to be in the group, how many times have they escalated to me? So in looking at this report data for a few months, my group does pretty well. They, they respond in, on average in about four minutes, which isn't bad. However, there was one time where it took them 29 minutes to respond. That's, that's a problem. I don't like that. So as a manager, I can actually click on that group, and it'll show me all my employees with the same data. Now when I look at this, it paints a little bit different picture, and this shows me that all my employees respond within one to two minutes to their notifications, which is pretty quick, except Brian up here. Okay, Brian is on average taking 14 minutes to respond to each notification, and he's the guy that caused the 29-minute outage. So I have a problem. He's not anywhere close to what anybody else is doing within the group, but as a manager, I now have this data in front of me where I can sit down with Brian and find out what's wrong. Maybe he's too busy. Maybe he's, his device doesn't work. Maybe he doesn't care. Something. But now I can sit down with real data. What data centers have had up to this point is people complaining about Brian when he's on call. He never gets back to us. He takes forever. That's all we hear. Now we have hard data down to the minute for every single notification where Brian's manager can take care of the situation. Okay? So that's a little bit on reports. Let's move on to messaging. There will be situations where you need to kick off a manual event. So we've been talking about automated notifications coming out of Remedy, BPPM, whatever you've got. Okay, But I may be sitting in the data center and I need an Oracle DBA now. Right? I need somebody that has Oracle experience. What do I do? What most people would do at this point is they would find a spreadsheet with the on-call list for the Oracle DBAs. They'd look up who's on call. They see that Joe's on call. They go look up Joe's phone number. They call Joe. He's not there. They leave him a voicemail. They move back to the spreadsheet. Who's on call next? And on and on and on. This happens in every data center every day. I need somebody with a certain skill. I need to hunt them down. I need to go call them, find them, text them. Okay? With the X-Matters Relevance Engine, I type in my message. I come down here and I pick ORA. There's my Oracle DBA group. I hit the send button and I'm done. I go back to work. What's missing in this process is I did not look up who's on call. And the reason why? Because I don't care. It's not my responsibility to know who's on call. All I know is I need an Oracle DBA. I need them now. I pick the Oracle DBA group that is maintained by the manager of the Oracle DBAs. It has an escalation process, a rotation, an on-call list. Every person has a profile in the system. It has all their personal preferences. So if this happens to be 3 o'clock in the morning, it knows that Mary wants a text message and Bob wants a phone call. It will do that automatically for, automatically for me until somebody responds to the event. I can narrow down to certain devices if I want to, if it's high severity or low severity, or I can just leave it with whatever those personal preferences are. Okay. So what I was going to do next is let's go ahead and bring up my device here. I want to show you what a notification would look like, uh, and also so we can listen to a phone call. So again, you can hear what it sounds like. So I'm going to bring up my device here. There's my, my phone from my desktop, and this is showing it to you live. I'm going to go ahead and kick that off. We'll bring that back up here in a second. Okay. We're going to hear a text message come out. We're going to ignore that for a second. There it goes. And then we're going to hear a phone call. We're going to answer the phone call. We'll come back to the text message a little bit later. Okay. So here comes the phone call. Hello? Hello. This is X Matters calling for Steffi DeSantos. Press any digit to hear your message. So I'll hit a button here. You have received the following message. I need an Oracle DBA now. To respond with, assign a task to me. Press 1. To respond with, I cannot assist. Press 2. To repeat this message, press 9. So go ahead and hit 1 here. Your response has been processed. Goodbye. Okay, so hopefully you guys heard that okay. I know it's just uh, coming out of a little cell phone there, so it might be a little bit difficult to hear. But uh, that was a typical message that gave us information about the event at, at hand. In this case, I needed an Oracle DPA. If that was a call from Remedy, it would have said, here's your ticket number, here's your severity, here's a short description text, you know, press 1 to accept the ticket, etc., like you saw earlier in the demo. Okay. Here's what a typical text message would look like. Again, I've got the message that I typed in. I need an Oracle DBA now. And then we put numbers to the responses so you don't have to type in a whole word or anything in an SMS response. In case it's not a smartphone, you just have to type a number. Now the email would also look like this here. And again, 
Uh, this would be exactly what it would look like on your desktop. You can change the formatting if you want. You can change logos, colors, whatever you want. But here again, I've given them the ability to just click on an option on their desktop and we'll be able to respond. Okay. Now what happened in the background is this uh, tracking screen came up. Since I kicked this off manually, I may need to know what's going on. And in this case, I was only notifying one person and that person responded. Of course, that was me. But maybe I was notifying 84 people or 100, 100 people. Okay, That would show all those notifications here when they're being delivered and when they're responded to. And down here, I, I provided two menu options on that, either accept or reject. These bar charts would change with quantities as people responded if I was looking for more than one person. At any point in time, I can click on one of those bars, and it'll show me all the results for the people that responded with that option. Okay, in this case, I responded. It shows my device notifications I responded on, my email, my text messages, and as well, my phone call, which I responded to on a certain date and time, and my response option. If I take a look back at the tracking screen here, we also have a log screen. And this shows me all the gory details for an administrator of every single node that was used, the protocol that was used. If I answer the phone and hung up halfway through the message, that will be logged here as well. So all that information is available to me. All right. So again, that was a very, very simple, quick message. Now let's take it one step further. What happens if I have a high severity situation and I need to get people on a conference call? That typically takes people a while to do. What most people would do is, let's say I need eight people on a call. I would send out eight text messages or eight emails and say, hey, it's an emergency. Here's your 12-digit code. Here's your phone number to call. Please get on in 15 minutes because we need everybody together right away. Okay. What we do on the X Matter side is we allow you to build a panel where you can let certain people kick off these events. In this case, this is actually an executive panel where I'm let, letting an executive kick off a conference call. This could be a help desk person. This could be whoever you want. You build a panel with certain fields. In this case, I've created certain fields that I'm requiring this person to fill out before they kick off this conference call. Once they've selected those, pan, those fields, they can then select the people they want to get into the conference call or the groups. The important thing here is I may need a Unix person, a network person, and an operations person. I can actually pick those groups, and the system will pick the right person on call in each group, so I don't even have to know the names. Okay? So again, in this case, he's picked names. So he's going to go ahead and kick this off, and what the system is going to do, it's going to call all of them at the same time and push them into the conference call live. We're not sending out messages with 12-digit codes and saying, hey, get on the conference call in 15 minutes. You answer the phone, you're in the conference call. It's that quick. So we're going to go ahead and listen to that here. It's going to go ahead and call out, and you're going to hear these people join. Hello. You are receiving an automated conference bridge request. Press any digit to hear your message. Hello, Desi. You are required on the bridge for a executive escalation. Please attend as soon as possible. To respond with, join the bridge. Press 1. To repeat this message, press 9. You will now be placed in the conference bridge. Hi, this is Kathy. Thanks for joining the call, guys. So now that I have them all online, I have full control over this conference call. If there's noise in the background, I can mute somebody if I need to. Right? Maybe I don't need Stacy anymore. She can either drop off the call, or I can actually make sure she's not on the call anymore by dropping her from this panel. And then at some point in time, I may want to end the conference call. I can do that from here as well. That makes sure everybody drops. Goodbye. And then once I'm done with that, I have a conference history report. And this conference history report will actually show me a list of everybody that was on the call, when they joined, and when they left. So very, very powerful in getting people to collaborate fairly quickly. Okay, we have a number of customers that use this dynamically, actually automatically, from Remedy Tickets. So if it's a Remedy Severity one and it, has to be a, and it happens to be a customer, we have some customers that are kicking off this conference call automatically and pulling people into the conference call you know, seconds after the ticket is created. So that I, what I've shown you here is a way of doing it manually, but it can be done automatically as well. Okay. So the last thing I'm going to touch on is what we call our relevance engines. And over here on the left-hand side, you may have noticed I have a long menu of things. Typically, most users wouldn't have this long menu. These are for demo purposes. If you happen to be a hospital and you need to notify nurses with certain skills and you need to get a hold of them for a certain shift, you can do that with a custom panel. 
If you happen to be a, an agency that needs to kick off Amber Alerts, you can do that from here as well. Again, the idea is I don't want to create a big box where you have to type in a big sentence. I want to make it where it's very easy, where you start picking certain fields, okay? And from there, once this thing is kicked off, we put together the message appropriately and consistently for everybody that's involved. So these are all created here within the user interface. There's an Edit Layout button here, and I'm not going to go into all the detail of that. But it allows you to define that panel, the message content, what the email looks like, logos, colors, the whole bit, along with the response options. All that's done here within the panel. Okay. Some of this starts leaning into things outside of IT. So it could be business notifications, it could be customer notifications, or it could be emergency notifications where I need to notify 20,000 employees not to show up because there's a hurricane or whatever is going on. Okay. So again, this kind of branches out beyond the use of IT, but I wanted to make sure to point that out. Okay. So that was the majority of what I wanted to show. I wanted to go ahead and stop here, and I will turn it back over to Dick for questions. Okay, thank you very much, Desi. That was very good. I, I had a couple of things, and let me just uh, tell people out there, if you have a question, uh, feel free to go ahead and uh, submit a question using the Q&A box. And while we're waiting for some questions to come in, I do have a couple. And, and one of the things that just came to mind when you were showing the situation management al along with IT is well, I'm just curious is what percent of, of your customers also uh, that, you know, that are IT uh, based customers also use it for situation management or non IT? Um, what we found is that a lot of people are looking at this for IT first. That's the initial purpose. You know, I, I have a bunch of tickets coming out of Remedy. I need to find the right person. I want it to be targeted, and I want them to interact with Remedy. Once it's in place, that's when somebody else in the organiza organization realizes, oh, you mean I can use this to notify the end user, the customer, employees? And the answer is yes. And then they mm -hmm. typically expand from there. So I would have to say that more than 50% of our customers use it for more than one purpose. Okay. Now, it, it seems like, and I know we have a lot of Remedy users out there, and so alerting is built into the Remedy product. But looking at this, it, it really seems to me that, you know, using X matters is very e efficient compared to what you might have with Remedy. And I can I, I guess that another extreme advantage here would be that, you know, if you have multiple tool sets, and which is very common, so maybe you're using BMC, maybe you're using HP for event management, you know, why not use just one alert management piece of software that can connect to all, all of these? Isn't, isn't that kind of a big value add as well? Yes, that's what we see. Uh, I, again, the majority of our customers are using this with more than one product because if you have, let's say you have HP Operations Manager and you have another tool from CA and you have BMC Remedy, you have a mixture of stuff, which most environments do, a mixture of different tools. Each one of those has its own way of getting emails sent out to somebody. Okay, Those emails are one way, which means you really can't do a whole bunch, and it's scattered all over the place. This now centralizes your on-call list, your schedule, your devices, and all that interactivity into one place. We've actually had people that combine things. So if I get notified from Remedy about an event, when I respond, that response can go back and assign the ticket to me and potentially go back and restart a batch job on some system at the same time with one response. Okay, so that's a terrific time saver then. Okay. Uh, there are a couple of uh, questions that came in. The one question here is, is what uh, Conference Bridge software do you utilize? I guess the, maybe what they're asking is, do you need to have your own Conference Bridge setup, or does it come, does the X Matters come with Conference Bridging already? Okay. So, so there, the, but before I answer that question, there's actually two ways to utilize X Matters. One is our on-demand offering, and the other is on-premises, where it's running software running on in your environment. Most of our customers are going to the on-demand, which means we run our own conferencing, and it's all just included out of the box. The day you install and configure, you're up and running with conference calling. On-premises can use conference calling, and it can use anyone that's out there. Uh, but you do have to configure it. You will lose some of the capability that I showed. Okay, So if you do you do this on, on demand, you will lose some of the reporting capability. Like I showed here, you won't be able to see people's names. You won't be able to mute, uh, mute and kick people off. That's only in our on-demand offering. 